Okay, I want to take a couple minutes and talk about a great API for working with uh, movies, films, TV. The Movie Database, themoviedb.org, is a website where you can go to find out information, but the best thing is that they also have an API that you can use to fetch data, you can run searches, you can get recommendations, look at what's new, what's upcoming, and all that kind of stuff, and you can do it all through Ajax. So we can use the API to make calls. The developer section of the site, developers.themoviedb.org um, slash three, this is version three of their API. This has all the documentation for all the different methods that you can do, that you can use to get information. So as an example here, um, any one of the pages, this is the get details. So if you know the ID of a movie, you start off with the base URL, append slash movie slash the number of the movie. You need to provide your API key. You have to sign up as a developer and register to get an API key. Once you have that key, you make the request, and then the request will look something like this. api.themoviedb.org slash three slash movie, movie ID, API key equals the key that they gave you and then optionally you can put in the language that you want the results in. This will send you back a data set. So we're going to look at how we can use this. I built a little uh, markdown file that has links to all the appropriate things for the documentation, how to sign up, how to get an API key, um, what you need to do as far as attribution. If you're going to use their API, the free version of it, there is a commercial version you can pay for. But if you're going to use the free version, then you do need to attribute the data source to them. And they've got a bunch of icons and so on that you can use with their uh, color guide to uh, provide that information. When you're fetching images, so you do a search, you get some movies sent back to you. There will be unique URLs for the images. The file names are unique for them. But at the base, there's going to be a base URL that you need to start with. And you provide the base URL followed by the size of the image that you want, followed by the unique file name for that image. And that, along with your API key, will give you the image. So you have to call once to this configuration page and pass in your API key. That will pass you back the base URL for the image, it'll pass you back all the different sizes that are available for different types of images, and then you can use that in your requests to actually display the images of the movies that you want to get. So I'm going to put this online I'll, as a code gist. I'll leave it for you in the comments, as well as this sample page. So we've got a very simple web page here. There's a heading and there's a div. Inside the div, this is where I'm going to write my output. I've got two script files attached. One of them, all it has inside of it is a variable const API key. API key is just my developer key. So I'm going to use that as a variable inside of here. Three sample URLs. So to call for the configuration, this is the URL you call. You just put your API key in there. If you wanted to fetch a list of movies based on a keyword, like do a search, provide your API key, and the query equals whatever your keyword is. And if you want to get more details about a specific movie, you can run this, search slash movie slash the ID of the movie, followed by API key and whatever your API key is. So this is the base URL for making all these requests. You'll notice that all of these have the same one. It's after the three slash that the unique part starts. So configuration, search slash movie, search slash movie, and then movie ID. Oh, actually, there's no search here. This is just movie slash movie ID, and this is search movie. All right, so what my page is going to do is when we go, when DOM content loaded is fired, I'm going to call my get config. This is going to get that configuration information. So I'm going to make one request to get this. I'm going to write that out in the console. And then I'm going to make a request to run a search. And I've just hard coded a phrase in there. So looking at the get config, this is the URL that I'm building, this top one here. So it's the base URL plus configuration API key equals, and then my variable. So those things concatenated will give me this first one. 
I'm going to do the fetch. I get my result back. I take the JSON result, pass it on to the next function. This is the JSON object right here. And inside of that, uh, I'm going to write out what the config is. So this will be the object, and inside there is the base URL for the images, the image sizes, and that kind of information. With that, I am going to run my search looking for the keyword JAWS. Inside Run Search, I take that keyword and I add that at the end. So here's my base URL plus search slash movie API key equals the key and query equals JAWS. Run the fetch, get the result back, convert it to JSON, pass it on to the next function. Data is going to be all of the data and I'm going to take all of that and I'm writing it out as the inner HTML inside my output div. So let's start with that. Let's go take a look at this page and see what we get. I'll refresh it here. Here's the config information and inside of the config object there's something called images. This is really the key of what you're going to use out of the configuration stuff. Logo sizes, poster sizes, profile sizes. So if you want to get the movie posters, these are the different sizes. Now if you remember from before I was saying that there's a base URL for the image, then the size of the image, then the name of the image. Well, the base URL is right here, or the secure base URL is the HTTPS version of it. So I'd recommend taking this one. Take the secure base URL, then to the end of this append one of these sizes. So one of these values gets appended as the next parameter, then another slash, and the final parameter is the unique URL. And if we look inside of here, this is the results. So there's one page of results, a total of 33 results. That was the number of matches. Uh, I'm on page one of two. Results is an array. And the first one is right here. This is the object. Uh, I have this done out a little bit nicer inside of here, down at the bottom. This is the first object that came back. It has all these properties inside of it, including poster path. Poster path. This is the part that you would append onto the end of your request for the image. So let's put this together. Let's take all the data and see what we get. I'm going to put it inside of a paragraph. Image source equals. Always put an alt attribute for your images. So that is the unique path. Now I also need one of these sizes, so I'm going to take the W500 and the secure base right here. If I take that, copy it, I come back in here, I paste that, and then the W500. There we are. This is the path to that image for this movie. There we are with 500. There's the movie poster. So that unique URL. And if I come back in here and I change this to one of the other available sizes, say with 185, there we go. There's the smaller version of the image. And that's it. That's how you use the moviedatabase.org, their API. It's uh, really not that difficult. The most challenging part is probably just getting used to which parameters are available inside the data when it comes back. And there'll be an object. Inside the object, there's a, a results array. This will tell you the total number of things in that array. And then it's a series of objects. And every one of those objects is going to have a vote count. So how many people voted and the vote average. So this is people who've done rating. There's been 2,700 people who've rated it with an average of 7.5. Title popularity was calculated based on the vote count and the vote average. The ID, this is the number. Remember up here we had fetch more details about a movie and we needed a movie ID? Well, JAWS is ID 578. So if we wanted to fetch more, we would do a fetch where this would become 578 and API key goes here. That's going to return us a different JSON object with more properties. And you can always use console.log to look and see what those other properties are, or 
jump into the API documentation. Test this. You can actually put your API key right in here. You can paste it in, send the request, and see what you get back as results. Any of the other things that you want to do in here, so search for example, search for companies, keywords, search for the keywords, I'm going to tell you what the different uh, keywords are associated with a movie, search for movies, this is the one that we were doing based on a keyword which is the query, you have to provide an API key, that's required, you have to provide the required query, this is the keyword. Optionally, you can say which of the pages of the results that you want to get back. You can pass in a language to say which value displayed translated data for the fields that support it. And uh, include adult movies if you want. All kinds of things that you can search for, all kinds of things that you can use this API for. So, good luck and have fun with that. I will leave uh, the links to the APIs and this in that markdown file. So the markdown file will be a code gist and the source for this page will also be a code gist that you guys can download and experiment with. Thanks for watching.